New at six, it's never actually smelled good, but recently there has been an even stronger odor coming from the central landfill. It's gotten so bad that the state is stepping in to try and stop the stench from spreading. From the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Pete Mangione is in Johnston. On a typical month, Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation gets about one to two complaints regarding bad smells. This month, they say, they've had about 20. Jacqueline Ferry has noticed something different in the air around her Cherry Hill Road neighborhood in Johnston. Like rotten eggs, methane gas, it, it just smells like a landfill. It started in the, in the spring and is basically all summer, about three or four days a week. There have been enough complaints for the DEM to send a letter to the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation stating that they are in violation of air pollution control regulation number 17. It states, no person shall admit or cause to be admitted into the atmosphere any air contaminant or combination of air contaminants which creates an objectionable odor beyond the property line of said person. RIRRC director Michael O'Connell says trash that has already been buried is reacting with water from a wet stretch of weather earlier this year. That's creating an odor which can escape back into the air. However, they are already working on a plan to permanently bury the smell. We're drilling about uh, somewhere between another dozen and 20 additional sacrificial wells. The Johnson landfill operators say they're working as hard as they can to get this problem taken care of quickly. If it's not resolved, they could face some type of enforcement from the DEM. In Johnston, I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.